Guys, welcome back to the channel and to my Cayman GT4. So, I've had a few messages, a few requests asking if I can give a few more details on my spec on my Cayman GT4. Um, I wasn't the first owner, it's not brand new, so whoever spec'd it originally, I've got to thank for the spec because it's absolutely perfect for what I wanted. And uh, I did have a good hunt, but I found this one fairly quickly, luckily with everything i wanted the exact combo and spec that i wanted so um i won't drag on we'll get into it and i'll do a quick walk around the car and talk about the options i'll mention some of the original prices of those options too it's eye-watering when you see how much it all adds to i mean i think this has got about twenty thousand pound optional extras on top of the car the car was eighty two thousand pound base price new um, and then, yeah, to spec up about £20,000 worth of extra. So it would have been a list price of £102,000, this car, um, which is crazy. So, yeah, I'll have a quick walk around now. Let's have a look outside and let's go through all the features, specs. Uh, and I'll touch on some of the things that are standard on it as well, because obviously they've been changed over the model years and stuff. This is a MY22. So let's get into it. Okay, so here it is, my Cayman GT4. So the first and most obvious option is the colour, shark blue. Um, £2,300 from the factory that colour was. The next is the Porsche Dynamic Lighting System, plus full LED headlights. That is £1,100 optional extra. <laughs> Front and rear ceramic brakes, £5,600 optional extra. Gloss black door handles. A hundred pounds and the Porsche badge in the back in satin black is an optional option sorry optional extra 110 pounds I think it was <laughs> crazy little details like that all add up the wheels are satin black which is a no cost option thankfully but when you get inside that's when it really starts getting a little bit silly so the glorious carbon bucket seats which are also in the porsche um 918 supercar hypercar whatever you class it as they are 3600 pound to have the interior in full leather all up here and on the door cards and stuff um with alcantara in certain places all around here which is um a porsche called race tech but basically the same thing as alcantara that was £1,300 and a further £850 to have the stitching all in yellow, which door poles match. And you can see it's all throughout the rest of the interior. Mental. The PDK gearbox is a £2,000 optional extra. And cruise control, as you can see there, it was £560 extra from factory. It also has a sport chrono package, which was, I think, £350 as an extra. I'm sure there are other little things I'm missing, but these are the main things I can think of off the top of my head whilst walking around the car. Um, it does have quite a lot of standard features, though, luckily. So, reversing camera and parking sensors become standard in 2020, which is a MY22 car. So, that's um, a no-cost option. It also has PASM adjustable suspension, which is standard. Sports exhaust, standard which is nice and obviously it's got climate control and stuff which is not bad the Alcantara wheel again <coughs> race tech <laughs> that's a standard no charge option um, you can get all this panel here and all the side panels and on the door panels there in carbon fiber I preferred them in this color to be honest I wouldn't have said no to a car with carbon but I do like this because it lifts it, it stops it from all being quite dark and adds a bit of brightness into the interior, so I quite like that. Shout out to Porsche, the best cup holders in the business, by the way. Here's the cup holders, both open. You can close that panel again. Absolutely love it, they're fully adjustable too for different size cups. Absolutely beggar, much prefer them over most other manufacturers' offerings. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, it's a crazy amount of money in options that's a 82,000 pound car when it was new and with 20,000 pound options that was a hundred and two thousand pound new this car so there you have it that's a quick walk around and a bit of spec details on my Cayman GT4 
We've got loads more content coming for this, hopefully. Um, so we're going to get, uh, hopefully, a Nerbowing trip in. We're going to get a few track days. Um, and we will do a comparison versus this and Lee's Lotus 6 Siege. Um, looking forward to driving Lee's Lotus properly on some country roads. And I'm sure he's looking forward to having a little hoot in this. So uh, we'll make a day of it and have a proper drive of each other's car. And hopefully relate to you things we found, feelings, initial impressions, stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, on that note, I can get a... Get the Cayman to drive back. Go ho! Yeah.